Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. <coughs> so, uh, we are still meant to be in the middle of summer here in uh, uh, Australia, uh, in particularly in Victoria. Uh, but the weather seems to have taken a bit of a change. So today and yesterday it's been really cold and uh, it's been freezing actually. Uh, couldn't really get out there to do much on the motorcycle. So instead I figured I would uh, attend to this long outstanding video that I've been wanting to do. And which is to talk about the Klim Cryos Pro helmet that you would have seen me using um, over the last uh, six months or so on my channel. So if you're up for this, uh, grab a cup of coffee and join me with the review. So I've used a significant uh, number of helmets uh, over my riding career and I've uh, managed to review a couple so far on, on this channel itself. So you, many of you may have watched my uh, initial review on the Bell SRT Modular which I still use quite frequently and then I also did uh, one on the HCG, HCG C90 uh, Modular Adventure Helmet as well. Um, now that helmet was... Uh, a plastic shell where else the uh, hit the uh, bell srt modular was a composite fiber cell now both these helmets that i had previously were a bit on the heavier side and i realized that uh, no matter how comfortable they are when you start using them for long rides and long distances it starts to actually hurt your head so i was in search for getting something that is lighter and that will not uh, affect me uh, in my long rides <coughs> so i managed to stumble upon this uh, particular helmet which is uh, to date still the lightest helmet the lightest adventure helmet you can find in the market and i must say this helmet has totally changed my my whole riding experience and comfort level uh, uh, on the motorcycle i can guarantee you that once you start using uh, a helmet a light helmet and a good quality helmet like this it will be hard to use anything else so let's get on to talking a little bit about this helmet so the klim uh, krios pro is a very popular brand you know the klim has got uh, a range of apparels that you can get uh, for motorcycles and they also have produced a number of helmets now this uh, uh, cryos pro is is the second generation from the uh, cryos uh, lineup the first generation was the clean cryos and it was also uh, a very well uh, received helmet and it was also quite light but this one has had a significant number of changes and I'm going to talk uh, more on, on what we have, uh, what this helmet has to offer so uh, the clean cryos uh, is both uh, dot and ECE approved so it's legal to be used in Australia and uh, it weighs just about 3.1 uh, pounds which is uh, roughly about 1.4 kilograms which is really 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 light now what makes this helmet really light is the, the actual technology that the helmet uses so the outer shell is actually a full carbon fiber shell now carbon fibers are extremely strong but at the same time they are also very very light uh, in construction now the other beautiful thing about this helmet is what it has on the inside i'm not sure if it is clear but essentially most helmets that is out there manufactured they use uh, eps which is essentially foam but this uh, helmet here it uses what it, what they call chloride technology now chloride technology is i'm not sure if you can see this but i'll put a picture in the video but essentially is that green honeycomb structure that is that makes up the internal part of the helmet now essentially uh, the correct technology if you look at it in a nutshell it's like a bunch of straws put together and glued together and that's what makes the actual internal structure now the beauty about this is 95% of the helmets weight is actually uh, air because <coughs> it's got uh, it's hollow and it's got holes but it also makes it extremely safe for your head because in an impact the, the it gives uh, the, the the honeycomb mesh uh, more 
uh, movement and it sort of only would, uh, will absorb the movement at the area of which you actually take the hit. So it's been proven to actually be really, really uh, efficient and really, really protective in that manner. Now, another thing to remember uh, about choroid as well, that it's not affected by heat or cold. So unlike EPS, it's sometimes affected by heat and cold, but choroid isn't affected by heat or cold. Now the beauty about the uh, structure of the choroid uh, within the helmet also means that you've got really good ventilation within the helmet. Now, when you're talking about ventilation, the helmet has got two ventilation points. You've got one here at the, at the top, uh, and then you've got obviously the ventilation point uh, at the front here and then you've got two vents uh, towards the back as well to allow for the air to escape um, so uh, it gives really good airflow and uh, that, that's really uh, great about the helmet now in terms of the uh, what you get in the box so essentially when you buy the helmet it comes with um, a pin lock radio visor and it also comes with an additional visor. Now this visor that I've got on here is pin lock ready, but it's also a transition visor. What does a transition visor mean? So essentially a transition visor means that when you take this uh, helmet out in the sunlight, it actually automatically darkens up. So which means that you would not have to use sunglasses. Or, or like a lot of other helmets, they've actually got an inbuilt sun visor. Now the problem with inbuilt sun visor is that it actually uh, affects the, the structural integrity of the front of the helmet because there's a hollow gap. Now, so it's always better to to actually buy a helmet that doesn't have that uh, inbuilt uh, sun visor. So, in my opinion, this is a way better option uh, because it's uh, it's transition. When you take it out. Uh, in the sunlight it darkens up and it protects your eyes makes it really comfortable and with this extra um, uh, peak that it has as well it actually adds to the comfort while riding now the beauty about the the transition lens here is that the moment you get into uh, a dark area it actually brights up, uh, brightens up uh, sorry it actually lightens up pretty quickly so you it's not that uh, you will enter into a tunnel and you're can't see anything that's not how it works so it really uh, brightens up uh, your vision really really quickly and so it's responsive it's quite responsive in that manner the only thing I found is that if you are riding with your sun visor up like this and if you've got sunlight pointing to the top and when you actually put the visor down you will realize that you'll have two patches here for about less than a less than 20 seconds or so because that's where it had most of the sun exposure due to the holes that you have on the peak so after about 10 or 20 seconds it neutralizes and it sort of blends up now the, the also the other beauty about these visors is it's got uh, some sort of nano coating on it which makes it uh, scratch resistant as well now uh, it also comes with a pin lock insert so I've got a pin lock insert in there that comes standard with the with the helmet with, uh, which uh, makes it really really uh, easy to ride in the winter months and also when it's raining because it does not fog up the helmet so something really really important now this helmet as well you can actually have it in four different configurations so this configuration here is uh, basically in an adventure style configuration where I've got the peak here I've got the uh, sun visor um, attached now if the other configuration is you can have it like a sort of like a sports helmet in which you just remove the peak and the peaks are quite easily removed because it's only have this one uh, thumb screw here on the top and you just twist it with your finger and you essentially can remove that just like this all right and you can replace back the thumb screw to cover the hole there and here to remove uh, these peaks I'm not going to do it right now but to remove the peak all you essentially do is you just turn this downwards and the peak comes off right the peak comes off you turn it downwards and you're good to go um, um, so in the box it actually comes with uh, so if you decide to remove the visors you can actually replace it so in the box it comes with this extra 
fits there and you can actually if you decide to remove the, the peak you can actually just replace it with these caps that go here to cover the gap so as I mentioned we have talked about two configurations so far so configuration number one is what as you see it like this where it's in an adventure style configuration configuration number two is like a sports helmet where you remove the peak and you get it in a uh, like a sports version configuration number three is where you actually put your sun visor up like this and you can actually put in your um, goggles your sun goggles and you can ride it uh, with your sun goggles um, so that's for like hardcore adventure riding and configuration number four is like a motocross configuration where you totally remove this uh, this uh, sun visor and you only use it with the goggles so it's got a nice uh, pathway there and in which your goggles truck can actually just sit towards the back of the helmet it makes it quite ideal uh, this helmet also comes in compatible with the uh, Senna. The, it's, it comes in compatible with the Senna 10U Enable, uh, but which you have to uh, um, purchase separately. What I've got on my helmet is I've got the uh, arguably one of the best uh, um, uh, com communication system, which is the Cardo Pet Talk Board. Um, which I think it's way better than the Senna's anyway uh, but I'll leave that debate for a different day so essentially I've got the Cardo uh, Pack Talk Bowl and that sort of attaches to this helmet pretty well one thing to remember is that in the helmet it does not have a specific uh, speaker cutout so you will just have to place it uh, um, to, to the right position next to your ears but they don't have a dedicated speaker cutout so that's something for you to remember but besides that, because of how light the helmet is and how comfortable it is from the inside, uh, it doesn't actually bother you and I've had zero problems with it. Now the chin straps, the chin pads and the top pads are all fully removable. They are antibacterial, so uh, you can just pop it into the washing machine to wash it and they've got, uh, basically they're all velcroed rather than using uh, most of the other helmets like the HCG and the Bell SRT module that I have, they actually use like like clips uh, which I find a bit tricky but what I like about this helmet it's all velcroed so it's relatively easy to take off and relatively easy to put back very easy to adjust and in order to uh, attach my uh, to install so to attach the uh, communication system it only took me like about 15-20 uh, minutes top so it's relatively easy to install the comp system on this uh, the other thing about uh, that's great about this helmet is the chin strap here now this is a patented uh, chin strap um, and it's uh, um, it's called a fit lock system chin strap so essentially what a fit lock means that it's only uh, a, a tiny bit of magnet so that's it so you've got a magnetized bit here and this and all you do is you place it like that and it clips up so and there you go so this is a patented system and it's really 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 strong there's no way you can actually i've tried in many ways to pull it and so on there's no way you can get it to come up the only way you get it to unlock is if you pull the red thing the red tab here and then it comes up so which makes it really really easy if you're out in the bush you're riding with your gloves and you want to strap up your helmet all you do is take that put it close and bang off you go this is extremely cool technology so this is patented uh, to claim and only as far as I know only claim uses this uh, this uh, fit lock uh, system um, now I must say that I was essentially I uh, initially I was also um, quite skeptical about the system but man, I've tried all every single possible way to get this to open uh, without using the red tap and I have been unsuccessful so I'm pretty uh, happy now to say that this is uh, quite uh, safe um, now in terms of uh, mounting your GoPro uh, I've got uh, Yulanzi uh, GoPro mount that only just straps on via what a velcro and it straps onto the front here very very comfortable and uh, uh, still allows air movement into the front uh, front uh, uh, vent 
and you can mount your GoPro uh, fairly easily and it's also just uh, in the right position where it does not obstruct the vision but also just gives you what you need in order to uh, peek into your GoPro screen to see whether you know what's recording and so on so um, it is definitely uh, GoPro compatible and you can definitely do your vlogging and whatnot uh, with the helmet now as you see this peak that I've got here this is a this is a, 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 a peak that I bought uh, later on I just wanted to uh, um, change the, the color a little bit so the original uh, peak that came with the helmet is uh, a white one I'll just show it to you so this is the original peak that comes with the helmet it's white in color but unfortunately I broke it uh, uh, one day when I was uh, inflating my tires sort of hit the, the my panniers with the uh, uh, with my helmet on and sort of cracked it a little bit so I don't quite really use it much anymore it's just there but uh, you can get a lot of these replacement parts uh, online uh, fairly easily and I think that this uh, thing just cost me about 30 odd dollars uh, and I quite like it because it sort of just uh, breaks up the color of the white helmet so yeah, uh, you get in the package also you get uh, extra bit of screws for the top bit and you also get extra of these um, uh, um, clips for the side as well which is excellent. So all in all, a really um, good system. I've used many helmets and I've had um, um, a lot of uh, issues with helmets just because of the shape of my head. And sometimes it becomes really really uncomfortable after a long ride this to me is the best helmet that I've ever used in my life so I will always stick uh, to the clean uh, helmets because they just proven to be so so good and so light that I can never go wrong with this now when it comes from the price perspective when I bought this helmet uh, it was uh, fairly expensive uh, I think it, it, it the market price back then was about 1200 uh, Australian dollars but now the price have uh, reduced slightly so uh, if you shop around you could probably score one for about 800 odd dollars uh, delivered but again it's uh, it all depends on um, on uh, the size availability and the color and, and so on but you can uh, get one for about 800 850 dollars relatively easy, easy so if you are i've got some links in the description below and if you want to use that links uh, feel free to and uh, to get that uh, helmet as well so um, that's all guys that's all to sum up with this uh, quick review on this helmet now all in all i think it's the best out there in the market it is a bit expensive but it is the best you're paying for the best items that you can possibly find in the market um, so yeah so thank you guys for uh, supporting this channel so far and for watching this video and staying with me on this video now I have uh, we are sort of reaching about 440 subscribers uh, today which is excellent the subscriber base is growing and I would really appreciate it if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up for the video and uh, so that you will also be notified for any future videos as well and if you've got any questions at all whatsoever about this helmet or any of my videos just drop in a comment in the comment section below and I will endeavor to answer your questions as soon as possible now also to add that I've got some affiliate links uh, down below in the description section and if you, you if you want to get any of my the stuff that I use or any of the stuff that I've recommended you can use my affiliate links uh, below and I'll get a small kickback from uh, from that affiliate affiliate links but at no cost to you so essentially if you buy something going to the website directly or if you use my affiliate links it's not going to make any difference to you but it will help the channel grow and it will help me uh, purchase uh, and, and sort of uh, upgrade the channel as uh, we move on uh, and, and as the uh, channel grows as well so thank you very much for your support and for uh, staying with me and uh, I will see you on the next one. Cheers.